Hey guys, this is Brian here from My Good iPhone. And if you remember, the last video was about the Ruby Chris theme. This one is going to show you how to fix any problem you're having with this theme. Um, basically, the problem just lies with encoding of the certain files. And let's just get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to change is this weather widget up here, and it's on the lock screen as well. Change that. We're going to go into your SSH client. Just for this, I'm just going to recommend iFile. I'm not saying you have to use it. Go into revychris.theme from your themes folder and then go into setup and this will show you how to do it. So I'll just show you the image real quick. Um, it says go to weather.yahoo.com, search for your city, and then copy the weather code from the address bar into this part of the code where it says code here. And I'll show you where that code, sorry about that, I'll show you where that code lies. Okay, uh, so I've already done it here just for the sake of loading time. And if when it loads, huh, sorry about that. Okay, what he's referring to the, to in this line of code is up here in the URL. Uh, load already. You see here at the very end, there's a code that says two four six six two five six. It's literally at the very end. If we were to scroll all the way over here to the front of the URL, see so that's it. So it's at the very end. You're gonna take that number. Copy it, remember it, do whatever. Paste it in the I file, uh, or not paste it in the I file. Sorry. Uh, open the config.js file, text viewer, and then paste it right here. Where it says var local. Make sure you leave a space between the equal sign and the first number, and the semicolon needs to be there as well. And that'll change where that widget is, and it'll be able to pull the weather information uh, more accurately. Uh, the rest of it is something you should definitely look through. So, for example, if you don't want Celsius, you would change this uh, part to F, and you would leave the quotations around it. Now, this is JavaScript encoding, um, and what sort of what's nice about this is everything that has a slash slash before it is a comment, which means that it's not affected in the line of code, so it'll tell you what it means. So, um, for the update interval, it says slash slash in minutes. That's the unit. What he means. So if I wanted to change this 10 to 9, every 9 minutes it'll update. Or for the language, it, it says if I put it for true, it'll change to French. So if I change this false to true, it'll be French, etc., etc. So read through, check what you want. I'm going to recommend that you not use seconds, though, in your right here where you would enable the true for a sec display. Because um, it just makes your phone lag ever so slightly on the lock screen. It's fairly noticeable, but it made my lag a little bit. I didn't like it. Um, the rest of it is something definitely that you can look through. And I'll get to this last one, this fixed black colored clock, because it's kind of a pain. Um, so that's how you change the weather widget. And now to fix this background image that comes here and here as well. We're gonna edit the line of code that tells us where to pull that image from. So you're gonna go into your themes folder. So it's in the in the stash, and then go into themes, and then hit edit, and then add a new folder. Make sure it's a directory, and type in this. You're gonna add Revy dash KRS space background, just like that, all lowercase. Um, when you add that, that folder is gonna pop up in your themes folder and I've already done it. Um, click on it and you're gonna change you're gonna paste the image in here and you're gonna change the name of the image to one dot PNG. Now if you're gonna do it from your email and you're gonna save it and pull it in or something like that, you can just change the name of it like looking at this blue arrow over here and on the name just tap once and change it to one dot PNG. Now go into revychris.theme, scroll down, click on lock background HTML, not web viewer, sorry about that. Go to text viewer. Okay, now there's like chunks of code here. So this first chunk, every everywhere you see a space is just one chunk of it. So there's the first one, second one is really big right here. There's the third one, it's just one line, and the fourth one is right here where it says image ID equals layer. So skip in that chunk of coding to the one, two, three, four, fifth line. It says SRC. Uh, not that one. Sorry. SRC equals quotation slash var slash dash slash themes. It's going to be different for you 
uh, it'll say something like lock background .jpeg. Uh, we're going to change that line to say this. You're going to make it say slash var slash stash slash themes dot. Okay, now to make this extension right, you're going to need the extension from your themes folder. So if you just go back into the themes folder, if you look up at this top bar right here, it says themes dot uw9c1n. Your extension is going to be different than mine, so just remember it or um, write it down or something like that. Now go back into the lock background.html file. Make sure you do themes dot your extension slash Revy Chris uh, space background slash one dot png. It's very important you spell everything perfectly, otherwise it won't work. Now what that basically did was you told the phone that if I want that background picture to be this, I want you, iPhone, to navigate the directory slash, this is the top left button over here, so it's from here, slash var, slash, stash, where is it, stash, themes, Ruby Chris, background, 1.png. Now that'll make sure that this image right here is the one that you want. That's how, so that's how you change the weather in this picture widget. The next thing I'm going to show you how to change is the folder image here and how to get this um, lock. Oh, sorry, that little voice right there. How to get that lock background image to work right. Uh, so go into settings. Oh, I should have not go into settings, sorry. Uh, go to Cydia, that's what I meant to say. Now, just because Cydia takes a lot of load for the time of this video, I took a photo of what I want you to download, but you're going to download Folder Fixer. You can see the name of it is right up here in the top. So just search for that exactly as it is, download it to your phone, it's free. And then when it downloads, open it, go into Folder Fixer, and in the bottom right, right here, it says Folder Fix. Click Folder Fix. It's going to delete all the cache files that make that background of the folder the way it is so it won't be that woven gray thing anymore and then hit respring they'll change they'll come you can come back here and it'll be just fine and then the other thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go back into iFile go to the revichris.theme folder and where it says wallpaper at 2x.png I'm assuming that you're probably HD if you're downloading this theme uh, either tap on the screen once and take a screenshot of this or hit this button in the middle left with the folder with the arrow and that'll take a screenshot as well. Now go into your settings and uh, go into wallpaper and change your wallpaper to that not the wallpaper from the camera roll. Change your wallpaper to the photo that you just took and that'll um, set this background when you open a folder to make sure it's not a different image that doesn't go with the theme or anything like that. Now to fix this clock up here, I'm going to be honest, there's really no way to fix it and it doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, here's how you fix it. You need to download something from Cydia called Clean Status and then it'll show up in your settings under bundles or whatever that is. And um, you would click on it and then you would scroll down to where it said that it was like uh, clock color or something like that, and it, you want it to say F F F F F F. You, you need to say six capital F's, and that'll make sure to tell this to tell the phone to change the color of the clock up here to white. Now, the reason being why it doesn't work so well is because it makes the clock like really bold. It just it stands out too much, and it doesn't look like it fits. I mean, plus, if you really want to check the time with whatever you're doing, you just lock it once, and it'll show up right here. So it's up to you, but if you want to change it, you're just going to make it, you're going to install Clean Status from Cydia, and that'll work just fine. So that's how you edit everything in Ruby Chris to make it so that it's perfect. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.